Dunway. Oh Whoa. my god! Oh my god, dude! <laughs> that just landed on the other 15 yard line. And it's going out at. It's stop the, on the, the one. It's out of 10, baby. Woohoo! What up guys, so again, today, very special day. We're here doing a day in the life, uh, training with Jamie Gillen, AKA the Scottish Hammer. I'm really lucky our paths crossed, but again, today we're gonna get a full session. He's here um, getting some work in before he goes to mini camp with the Cleveland Browns here in a couple weeks. Um, but yeah, so Wednesday we got all directional stuff. We got some good technical stuff ironed out. What do you wanna work on today, Jamie? What's your thought process going into an end of the week session? Uh, just to work more on the directional, you know, because it's not about bombs away at the next level. They want to hit good balls outside numbers every time, so we're just going to work the same thing as we win, to be honest. Just good direction, guys. Again, you, you've, you've seen it with Colby now. You're seeing it with these professional guys. Everything is direction, hitting good quality punts and just being consistent. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get some good work, and again, we'll, we'll see you guys in a little bit. This is a f pumpkin. Look how high that thing go! It went like 20 hours though. Pumpkin! Right about there. Yep. Just like that. <laughs> but see, I think I like that line for you better. So. We're, again, we're really big on direction. Out of, we get two sets out of the hands every time just to kind of get their legs warm, get them in the rhythm, get them locked in before we get into snaps. But what we're doing is we're just having him aim 45 to 50 yards. For him, it's typically 50 to the sidelines and just make sure his steps are all going towards that spot. So making sure his jab, making sure his first step, everything is going towards there, right? When we go to his left, we may be a little more narrow just because his ball is going to fade that way. But again, at his level, a 45 yard ball out of bounds place. 
So again, we're picking 45, 50 yards. We're aiming out of bounds with our uh, jab step and then our first step and then just trying to hit a ball going there. And, <laughs> oh, oh my God. Here's what I care about, Jamie, and you know this. I just, I want you to have every ball we hit today is that you know where you are. So you're right now 40 yards to the, no, it's 40 yards to the other 40. It's 50 yards to the other 30. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you're just getting that line, getting that foot down. Yep, right. go ahead. came a little bit to be fair that one was a little bit up good but the one before it no yeah this one get over there good so you're, everything's going that way now and that ball ended up outside the numbers here back of the end zone what's your thought process jamie uh relief pressure relief pressure put the defense in a great position okay so you're so you're thinking on this set what do you want to do you want to put it just you want to go away okay so again you guys for him right now, he's thinking relief pressure. Let's go bombs away. Timing is gonna be quick. Off time has to be good. Your boy's gonna come up here. I coach. I coach from different angles now. Oh, whoa! You know what I mean? I got. I got to give you guys the best opportunity to be successful. Hold on. Bird's eye view, dude. Hashtag bird's eye. I don't have one. Okay, so Jamie. <laughs> Jamie. Yeah. Okay, son. Son. All right, here we go. I want four balls out of the back of the end zone. Go ahead. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Go ahead. So now that we've got a couple sets going right, going left, now we'll staircase a little bit. Um, if you watched my last video, which I'll put somewhere up here, um, Colby and I staircase all the time. It's actually something that he taught, kind of taught me about. I mean, obviously we, we know those things, but he's really big on it. And now I've started, started to implement it um, <clears throat> with higher level guys, but we'll kind of start backed up and just keep it a little bit more, um, spontaneous is the wrong word, but we'll keep it more game-like where we're hitting different spots. Um, Again, Jamie's real big on right now, we're, we are real big on just making sure we're hitting the spot outside the numbers. And for him, I mean, hang time wise, <clears throat> I mean, he's not happy with anything under a five, which is, which is a testament to how strong and how talented he is. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna staircase a little bit and then I'll have Jamie tell you guys a little bit about kind of, you know, his mindset. And the last thing is, for those of you guys, I, I get asked a lot of questions about this. So with Jamie, with Colby, with Jake Bailey, the three guys that I've you know, had the privilege to work with that are all playing at the highest level, they're all a little bit different, right? They all have a different way of training. They all have a different way that they uh, an approach uh, a session and, and, a, and a training environment. They're all serious as hell. I mean, they wouldn't be at the height of their sport without that. But as you can see, Jamie likes to have a little more fun. He's kind of more of a little more loose guy, um, which, which I think works really well for him. I mean, he brings his personality into the session. When it's time to work, he works. Um, but I just I'm hoping you guys are seeing a little bit of that and just how kind of loose he is and how much of a good dude He is and just how much fun he has doing and doing what he loves to do and what he's good at So I hope that's kind of showing through the video here because dude the guy's a, f <laughs> a funny dude Like uh, just like going in uh, inside the 20 stuff. So Jamie, tell us a little about your thought process when you get near midfield. Uh, well, in the NFL, I know they're gonna rush harder in some ways because they want to put more pressure on you and see if you bubble a little more. So my, I know my timings are normally about 115 to 124. So that's a quick and um, quick get off two step. And then for Take your, the do you do ball. like an for lack of a better word, an Aussie ball? You put an end over render. Yeah, if I come in. 
and I like to lean it in a tad bit that way and my foot does that so you hit more of the fat in the ball. Okay. Because you know when you hear that weird sound like someone's hit the, 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 the nose of, of it? Ball, yeah. And it's like a, I can't even explain it. Instead of like a thumb. Yeah. So because if you hit it there, it's going to, like that. Yeah. Instead of, uh, I lean it a little bit in. So in Scotland, what do you guys call those balls? What did you call that growing up? Pump. So, okay, a punt. Okay, I just say, you know, because we're here, we call it Aussie ball, but obviously I don't think people... Americans got to put a name for everything, in it? Yes, yes, we do. We yeah. do. But, no, it's... Uh, I just in, in rugby, we always, we rarely... So we call it a torpedo punt, a spiral, and then just a regular end-over-end -end punt is just a... Just a, it's punt. a punt. Yeah, yeah. So you guys learn something new every day. We're just going to call it a, a punt from now on. <laughs> Come on. <man. laughs> All right, so we're standing on the 35. We're going to go two balls from the 35, two balls from the 40, two balls from the 45. Just working on some inside the 20 stuff. Let's get over a little Jamie outside the house. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's lock it in. Do they like you hitting this from midfield, or would you still hit a full ball? Because the ball's on the 50 right now. That's what I'm saying. It's tough because it depends on the weather conditions too. If there's wind in my face, there's no chance. I'm doing it. Right, you're just hitting a good, like a clean spiral. Yeah. Okay. Let's hit one of those. One clean spiral. So we're hitting a normal ball from the 50. Go ahead. Hey guys, again, we're aiming anywhere from the 6 to the 10, 6 to the 12, really trying to get the ball down there. Again, these guys hit them really well. Jamie hits them really well. So just want you guys to see a little bit of that. We're going to get one or two more sets. We're going to go live for Instagram, which you guys will be able to see on my Instagram, which I'll have linked down here. So you can follow me there. I'll link Jamie's down there. Um, but again, then we're going to get our Q&A. So we'll finish this last set and we'll be back to you. Want to give a quick shout out, you guys. The other guy in the video um, was Tristan Brown, number one punter in America, committed to Washington. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to him for being a part of the video today and also just being out here and getting a good training session in. My belief is that when I start to, you know, the guys that I work with get to the certain levels, man, I try to bring them in with some of the higher level guys that I work with because I want them to kind of see what that next step is, kind of the, the, the ground they need to cover, the things they need to learn, and kind of how focused the guys at the next level are because, again, Guys like Jamie, guys like Colby, guys like they all started like like that, right? With with you know dreaming big, working their butt off. So um, you know you probably see a little bit of Tristan in that video. But today, right now, what we're gonna do is a little Q and A. Um, I like doing this. It's kind of a way for you guys to interact with these guys. So I have a couple questions via Instagram, a couple questions via uh, Twitter, and I want to get those in. So first question from Andy Vuj, 24. Favorite leg workouts? I like squats, back squats, back squats. Andy, squat. You know what I mean? Actually, I'll see you in a couple weeks. Andy, shout out Andy Booch. Justin Medlock, who lives more on deadlift and bench? Greg Joseph or you? It's in a whole pretty strong guys. So I'm going to have to probably make a video on that. You know what I'm saying? Very politically correct answer right there. Shout out Greg Joseph. If you ever watch this, it's a tie. All right. From CSL, when did you first start punting? Uh, rugby balls when I was six, seven years old. Uh, and then football is my senior year of high school. And which one is easier to punt? Rugby. Balls. Okay, what is, what is your first and favorite American food? It's all good. It's all good. I have the portion size, burgers, double patty burgers, lots of stuff in it and fries and yeah. So right now, if I give you 50 bucks, 50 smackaroos, and you can go to any train. They always got to toot their horn when they go through. This a, lot place of, well. a lot of horn tooting. So $50, and you go to any fine American dining establishment, where do you go and what do you get? 
Uh, go to Walmart and get like 50 pounds worth of ramen noodles, eh? That's not true. He wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> would you have a hot dog, a burger? What would you have? I'd go steak. Steak. A big time steakhouse or something. I'm in. I mean, you probably couldn't afford it at $50, so. But it's okay. It's okay. Have you played catch with OBJ? Next question. Next question. <laughs> From Matt Gomberg, oh, okay, Celtic or Rangers? Celtic. Or someone outside the old firm derby? Ah, uh, well, my granddad's a Celtic guy, and if I said Rangers, he'd probably fly over from Scotland to punch me in my face. Uh, so, Celtic for that one, but I liked uh, where I was from in Inverness, Inverness, Cali Thistle, or a like little team, but I don't follow soccer. Respect that you said soccer. Grass fairies. From my wife, do you like to ball with your bros? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Kelly. Kelly, yeah. I, Kelly. I love ball. That, that was probably like a 2 a.m. Finley's up and she asked the question. Shout out my wife. All right, from Jaime. Has anyone tried to fix the way that you Aussie punt even though it's very natural to you? No. That's good. That's an interesting question though, right? Because we call it Aussie punt, but yet you've been doing it your whole life and you don't call it Aussie punt. All right, so now we're going to get the questions from Twitter. Let me get these few. Let's see here. Okay, questions. What does your daily food intake consist of and what type of workouts do your workout sessions consist of? So break that down. Do you have like a calorie count you're trying to eat or do you meals? I just try to reach 180 to 160 to 108 to 200 grams of protein a day and whatever cal like carbs come with that, you know? That's, yeah, me too. <laughs> and then, um, in terms of workout, do you work out once a day, twice a day? Well, once and twice, you know, some depends on what's going on. You know, if, if you count class punting as a workout twice a day normally, because I lift and do what I got to do in the morning, a little bit of uh, cardio in the morning too, uh, you know, for running sprints and stuff, and then get ready to punt in the afternoon, or vice versa, punt in the morning, work out in the afternoon. Who is your favorite Avengers character and why? I don't, <laughs> I don't really watch Avengers there, so. I, Jeff, Jeff Crenetier, Jeff Rowe, I don't, I don't watch Avengers either. Is it, is Superman in that one? Superman in that one? Uh, no, uh, Avengers is like, uh, is like uh, Thor. Thor? He's <laughs> like, I am Thor. Yeah, I was there like. There you go. Yeah, Thor. Thor right. We'll go with Thor. There's Hammer. There's hammer. <laughs> and then, the hammer. my question for you is, what would your advice be to young and up and coming punters that might be watching this movie? Uh, just to keep grinding. Uh, don't. I wouldn't go necessarily to a big time college because you think that's what the answer is. Uh, just go to wherever, in my opinion, offers you the most money or you feel most comfortable with. Because uh, at the end of the day, you know, if you are going to a college and you got to pay for it, that's debt, you know. And you're going to be balancing school on top of, you know, football. And as much as football always says, oh, studies comes first, that's that does nah. It's football first, and then you squeeze studies in there. So uh, even if it's not your favorite school, if they're offering you a full ride, take it, because you can be great anywhere. Because there's, there's guys that I went up against, you know, and that are came from big time schools, and you know, I'm, I'm in the position now, and some of them aren't. Uh, I'm not trying to sound uh, no, but it, cocky it, or anything. You it know, makes just, sense, right? It's just you, you talent shows itself. So just get to a place where you can showcase yourself and, and yeah. no matter where that means. Yeah. And there's loads of opportunities, you know, you've got different combines that you can go to and enter and it costs money. Uh, but, and you can go and compete there and show what you got. And if they think you're good enough, then they put you forward to camps and a different NFL. So if your dream is to go to the NFL, don't base it, your school selection upon, I got to go to a big time school. I you can agree. go anywhere. You can go D3, you can go Juco, NAI, as long as you can pop the ball well, you be high. And then for the next couple of weeks, what are your goals before your first training camp? Did you have anything, your goals, your own goals that you'd like to accomplish or things that you're just trying to shore up before you go, get there? Uh, I just want my body to be feeling, to feel great, feel tip top, flexible, loose, no aches or pains. Uh, just want to, I, I don't know, I'm a little different to some punters. I don't overthink stuff. I don't put a lot of pressure on myself. I just have a good time and when it comes, you know, work hard, work on my drops or holding, whatever it is I got to do, but then when it comes to actually punting, just look at where I'm punting it to, punting it to there. It's about, it's about as agree. complicated as it gets. <laughs> and you guys, like I said, man, you could probably see the vibe from today's uh, video, from today's session. 
it was really loose, but it was really it was really loose and really focused. If that makes sense, it was really light, but it was really serious. You can you can love what you do and enjoy what you're doing and kind of again, Jamie understands that you know three or four years ago being in this position probably never would have thought about it, right? But he took it upon himself and he took it into his own hands to make himself you know the freaking beast he is and and learn what he needed to do to. Um, you know, get to the level he's at now. We were fortunate enough to meet, um, but you guys got a little glimpse of what it's like to train a day. Sorry, I got sunscreen on my eye. Oh my goodness, you got sunscreen? I got sunscreen on my eye. Uh, you guys got a glimpse of what it was like to train a day in the life with uh, Jamie Gillen. There we go. Um, again, I'm gonna put his socials uh, at the Scottish Hammer 7. They'll be somewhere here. Um, my socials will be here as well. You guys can follow us, follow his journey. And then, uh, you know, if you guys ever have questions, leave them down below. Thanks for all the support, guys, and uh, we'll see you soon in the next video. Thanks for watching this video, guys. To continue along with this journey and watch this channel grow, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel.